Now this question, then, we're given that the curve C has equation y equals x multiplied by 5 minus x. And we've got a line L which has equation 2y equals 5x plus 4. And we've got to use algebra then to show that C and L do not intersect. Now, this is an unusual question because normally you're asked to show where they do intersect. And we do that by simultaneous equations. Well, I'm going to do much the same kind of thing. I'm going to try and see if they do intersect. And what I'm going to then find is most probably that I get, for some reason, some equation that we cannot solve. So I'm going to put down our equations then, first of all. We've got the equation C is such that y equals x multiplied by 5 minus x. And I've got the equation for the line L, which is 2y equals 5x plus 4. So we'll number these two equations, 1 and 2. Now, if they intersect, let's just put if they intersect, then there should be a solution for both of these equations that hold simultaneously. Now, I can substitute 1, say, into 2. We'll do that, sub 1 into 2. Now, if we sub 1 into equation 2, what are we going to get? Well, we've got 2, so therefore 2 times whatever y is, so that's x multiplied by 5 minus x, and that's going to equal 5x plus 4. So, I'm going to want to expand the bracket here, and if I do that I get 10x, and then minus 2x squared equals 5x plus 4. And I can see that I've got a quadratic equation here, because I've got an x squared term. So what I want to do is make this term positive, make it equal to 0. So I'm going to add 2x squared to both sides and subtract 10x from both sides. So if I add 2x squared to both sides, it's going to be 2x squared then, OK, here. And then if I subtract 10x from both sides, I'll have 5x take away 10x, which is minus 5x, and then plus the 4, and that equals 0. Now, normally for quadratic equations, I would either use the formula, the quadratic formula, or try and factorize it. Now, we want to show that the two lines do not intersect. So, in order for that to happen, there should be no solution to this quadratic equation. No roots. Now, the thing that gives the roots, determines the nature of the roots, is something called discriminant. Remember, let's just do it over here. Okay, remember that if you've got a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, that the roots are given then by the quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now, there is no solution for x if you square root a negative value. So this bit in here, b squared minus 4ac, we want to determine what that is going to be. It's called the discriminant. So let's just write that here, discriminant. Okay, equals b squared minus 4ac. And what would that be for our equation here? Well, b is going to be the negative 5, so we've got minus 5 all squared minus 4 times a times c. Well, a is the 2 and c is the 4. So I'll put the 2 there and the c is the 4. Just squeeze that in there. So what do we get? We get 25 then, minus 4 2s are 8, 8 4 32. 25 minus 32, which is minus 7. So it's a negative number, less than 0 in other words. So therefore, there cannot be any solution, therefore no solution, to our equation. And that means that therefore C and L do not intersect. So there had to be something in that where 
we had an equation that we couldn't solve if they didn't intersect. And there you go, it's this quadratic equation then with no roots because the discriminant was negative, meant that you couldn't square root a negative number. All right.